740. Welcome back. Get ready for Education Week. Senator Jill Takuda is here to give us a preview of the week's upcoming events. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you. And so, for those of us that aren't familiar with Education Week, mm -hmm. uh, what does it accomplish? Well, it's an annual event that really is about not just showcasing the amazing teachers, principals, and schools that we have, but really about bringing people to the Capitol to really focus in on our talents and the successes of our schools. Everything from early learning all the way up to post secondary in our university system. So, what you're going to really see here are events. Um, everything from an early learning rally on Monday to ROTC performances on Friday to award winning Carnegie students performing in the Senate chambers. Um, we've even got on Wednesday our secondary student conference, which will bring over 20 schools, secondary wow. school students, well, over 20 schools with hundreds of students to the Capitol for this annual conference. But the really fun thing on Wednesday is it's Healthy Schools Day in the Rotunda. And part of that is going to be a really competition between the House, the Senate, and the Governor's Office uh, to see in the series of competitions who's the healthiest. Oh, that's uh, great. I'm not so sure who I'm going to be uh, <laughs> rooting for at least. Fun and competition. Absolutely. How can uh, schools and students participate? Well, we definitely will have posted on our website the series of events that will be taking place. I know on Tuesday, the University of Hawaii, uh, they're going to be celebrating 50 years of our community colleges. This is a very big event. So they're going to want people, especially students and their parents, to come down and really check out what's been going on in terms of all of our campuses and maybe take a look at is this a really good option for their students and they can have an opportunity to take a look at all the different campuses and what they have to offer. So from a college career standpoint, I would definitely say for our students, come down on Tuesday because our university system is going to be highlighting all of their programs. They're going to have a series of amazing events that morning at the Rotunda. Mm -hmm. So it is spring break. That's why we do it during spring break. Um, so it's a great opportunity for our students especially to come down and participate. But all the week's events really are going to be focusing on students and being engaged. Charter schools are going to be down there on Thursday. We even have the Friends of the Library. It's become somewhat of an annual thing and something all of the staff especially look forward to on Friday participating. Our OTC drills, um, our students will be there as well participating. Right. And even uh, Lieutenant Governor uh, Shan Tsutsui's REACH program. I heard they're going to have everything from hula to orchestra to Tahitian dance. Wow. And robotics. Um, oh, wow. On another day. A huge range of activities a, and in competitions. An absolute so. range. Everyone from our youngest keiki to our lifelong learners at the University of Hawaii showing us what they're doing absolutely well. And if you can stick around for our you know, um, legislative sessions later on at 11 30 and 12. We'll be actually presenting certificates and honoring those outstanding teachers, principals, and schools that are really making a difference in all of our communities. Great. So this really is about showca showcasing those talents, those successes, uh, really giving honor to those who make a difference Perfect. in our community. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank of you. course, you can find this more information on our website, KITV.com. I'll toss it to Paul in the Weather Center.